Prepare for my thoughts on the Imperial Assault Hover Tank. Assault Hover Tank is the smallest brick-based set of the Rogue One Wave One line. It's set number 75152. It has 385 pieces and retails for $30. Just like all the other sets, it comes out on September 30th, which is also Force Friday. So, let's get into the figures. The first figure is Chirrut Mwe. I think I pronounced that right. I'm not very sure. But this figure is very accurate. It looks like how he does in the movie, and the glowing eyes is actually pretty accurate. Um, the weapon, obviously he comes with this ever-so-famous stick, but the other weapon that he's holding, I don't really understand. But, I guess we'll see that play out in the movie. So, yeah, on to our next figures. Next, we get two identical Imperial Assault Hover Tank pilots. Which, I don't mind that we get two identical ones, because it takes two to pilot the thing, just based off this set. But the helmet molds on them is very good, and it's also the same helmet mold as the, uh, the Shore Trooper minifigure in the TIE Striker set. But they look like just very cool figures, and when I first saw this in the first trailer, I'm like, I want that as a Lego set. And... And the figures also looked really cool. So I'm really glad for these two uh, Imperial Assault Hover Tank pilot characters. Now the big obvious orange crate is just a place to store blasters and a telescope. And so that's the first play feature and it is removable from the actual set. There are two separate flaps because uh, that you put both characters in there. There's one flap on the top of the vehicle to put the character in the back, and one flap in the front to put the character, a different character, in the front. So those, that's how that little function works. Just like the first order transporter, this set has clear wheels on the bottom, so it looks more like a hovering tank. And you can roll it around, which is very nice. Being that this is a like a land speeder, it works out very nicely. So I really like that. Finally, the last function is just the rotating bl blaster cannons, which is just you know nothing too special, but it's something. So I guess, but it's nice to have that option. So whatever. Overall, I really like this set. The minifigure selection is great, and the build looks really cool. It looks, when I think of a Star Wars tank, this is how I would imagine it to look. And they captured the essence of the vehicle very well, and it just looks like the good $30 set to get. Man, LEGO is just getting so good with their $30 sets, with the Sanctum Sanctorum, the, uh, the Civil War set... Um, this set, I mean, come on, Lego, your $30 sets are the best, but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.